We are for Andrew Jackson's impeachment because he violated the South Carolina strike during the notification crisis. Um, do I say what the notification crisis is? Sure. Um, it's a conversation between South Carolina and the federal government over um, tariffs that Andrew Jackson has. Also about the tariff of nominations. Um, he violated the state rights because President Jackson only sought to what was best for the North and didn't take in consideration what the South felt. Forced him to follow a law, the South Carolina tried to be unconstitutional when it tried to avoid and nullify the law. The theory of nullification of federal law is, is legal and can be done. Um, yet the Supreme Court has never sided with it, but it's still a legal act. The federal government only exists at the will of the states. Therefore, they should be able to nullify a law within the border without interference. Um, but also when the, um, the notification convention met, they said that the tariffs that Andrew Jackson had passed were unconstitutional. So he should be impeached because those, the tariffs were unconstitutional and he forced um, South Carolina to um, I would like to bring up some points. Um, first, I'm going to talk about how he like basically violated the rights. The Kentucky resolution says that the states have a constitutional right to nullify any federal law that they feel un is unconstitutional, such as which was enacted because of the Alien and Sedition Act. Although states technically have the right to nullify federal law, Jackson still forcing them to pay the taxes, also known as the Tariff of Armed Nations. The tariff was forcing the South to pay a tariff that was only truly beneficial to the North because they were industrial, and the uh, tariff um, focused on imports of. Uh, the tariff only focused on um, like the, the industry, it only helped them. Um, um, the South was agricultural, so it didn't help, it didn't help them at all. Uh, furthermore, when Andrew Jackson did this, he was basically contradicting his party. The Democrats are pro-states rights and pro-agriculture, so why would Jackson make them do something they didn't want to do and something that didn't benefit him and their party? Like he basically became the other party. And what he was doing. Therefore, um, Jackson should be impeached because he was basically saying screw the Constitution because they was told that the tariffs were unconstitutional and he still went and fought with them. So. Yeah. Thank you. Was he president for? the whole nation of the United States, or was he just the president for South Carolina? For the whole nation. He was the president for the whole nation, but exactly. basically. And exactly, because he was the president of the whole nation, he should have thought it was good for both sides, South Carolina, the South and North. Which he did when he lowered the tariffs. He did after the um, tariff was called unconstitutional. While he didn't know, he still, were, he still forced South Carolina, and also threatened to send military in, um, and I think that's wrong because since South Carolina um, thought that the, the tariff was unconstitutional, then um, Andrew Jackson should have heard what they had to say. But, they, but he did hear, knowing the tariff, and he was not going to be forced unless South Carolina was And he lowered the tariff, lowered the tariff after the notification. Um, um, yeah, that was, that was the notification <laughs> convention <laughs> met. Exactly. It wasn't out of his own will, or oh yeah, we're gonna do it because they think Calhoun um, eventually convinced him yeah. to the And when was he gonna force them to um, get their taxes for tariffs? It was the so, uh, the tariff of abominations was made in 1828. So he enacted that, and he expected the South to pay a suit, but it wasn't quid, quid pro quo to them. So they, I mean, he even sent military to like make sure the tariff was enforced. And that just like angers the South even more. And if the South is angered, then they can eventually secede. And one, and if they secede, then that's making America less of a nation. And if Jackson kept angering these, the South, then if all the Southern states seceded, then America would just like be cut off completely. So you you keep saying the South didn't like these taxes, but wasn't South Carolina the only state that had a problem with? South South, South Carolina, Carolina and the South. No. South Carolina. Well, they were trying to join to what South Carolina had to say, but they were too scared, so they didn't. They didn't know how to speak up like South Carolina did. How do we know this kid? I read it, but I mean, if, I, don't if, have, I don't have exact evidence, but there is evidence that says that other states wanted to join to what South Carolina wanted to say. Right. So they were they were scared. They were scared of that. 
But to my understanding, this these taxes were posed on the whole entire country, right? Yeah. But South Carolina was the only state that had a problem with these. Thirty seconds. Nullify it. But Jackson took that right and nullification away from them, and that's why they were saying. Do you think he was wrong, though? Put it on that? Yeah, because it was unconstitutional to them. Because he's siding with the North. Obviously. And he was pro states' rights. That was his party. They were supposed to be pro states' rights and pro agriculture, and he was defined that. All right, time's up. Thank you. So, Jackson should not be imposed and impeached because of his role in the notification crisis. This is because the tax imposed was needed for national debt. He was the president for all the nation, and not just South Carolina. And, and all, all yeah. And people say that he was willing to use military force, but actually he used this military force, or he was willing to use his military force because South Carolina was putting together an army, and they were ready to fight. Okay, so in 1830, the United States was in charge of 24 states, not just South Carolina. So the other 23 states paid the tariff, but South Carolina didn't choose to pay it. Although the tariff mainly benefited American producers of cloth, South Carolina was still part of the United States. Therefore, they had to obey. Um, when the nullification crisis came about, um, there was a lot of discussions whether it was constitutional or if it wasn't. But when it went to the convention, and um, it was talked about, and so um, the president came up with the Compromise of 1833, which um, would lower the tax for all the states, which helped everybody, but we still needed the taxes to help with the national debt. Jackson would not do anything if Congress had approved the tariffs that were passed in 1828. First, I want to say how the president before him actually introduced these tariffs, and he was the one who had to enforce them because he was also elected in 1828. The end of President Adams' presidency. Jackson also refused to pay the Jackson also wrote a letter to Martin Van Buren himself discussing how um, South Carolina was, was ready to fight against the tariffs. So Jackson decided to deal with military in case of um, any type of uh, serious violent gun. And he said that he wasn't going to use military force unless South Carolina used it. So, I feel like Andrew Jackson was really truly understood. His intentions were read and judged on. As the president of not only South Carolina, but the entire nation, including the North, he was taken into consideration of all of America. South Carolina should be tried for the selfishness and inconsideration of the whole entire country. I feel like if they're the only state that has the problem, they should really just take into consideration of everybody. Them not paying taxes could force the economy into something else that nobody wanted. And so he's innocent. Thank you. Like I'm guessing that my team, well, my teammates already summarized it. Overall, the whole plan for Jackson was just to benefit the U.S. overall. They were being selfish, and as he probably already said in his closing statement, they should be trial for that. It's not, in the whole country, it's, they call the country the United States of America. We're not separated, we're united. And that's how we were supposed to stand. But they decided to be selfish. And that's it. Thank you. Ready? Okay, yeah. start. You can start. Oh. So, do you think that it is right for the president to totally disregard con the Constitution and force unconstitutional laws onto the people? Yes. It will be necessary to have to the rest of the people. And he didn't just ignore them. He actually did go up to them and tell them his ideas about the army that was going to go and force the tariffs and everything. He said he wasn't going to do anything if it was not first passed by Congress, or to their knowledge. Um, you said in your speech that Jackson was misunderstood. Can you expound upon that? I feel like people think he he took 
I feel like people think he heard it and it went out the other ear. Like he didn't listen, like he didn't think about his decisions. I feel like people say he was a man who abused his power and he was selfish. And when you think about it, South Carolina was the only state that stood up and, and said they had this problem. If there's only one out of, you said the 24 that were at that time, yeah. then, but the majority, it's like, it's for the majority. This is for our economy, this is for everybody. And you you have a man who, he's, and he still decided to lower the tip for everybody. He made, he compromised with, the, with what they were saying, even though they was at South Carolina. Okay, um, <clears throat> you had said um, that the the taxes were needed for national debt, but the tariffs of abom abominations were actually to protect the industry of the North. What national debt was there? Or that why? was that was backlash from still from the war of eighteen twelve. We know through like experience that national debt from war can um, can stretch a long time, long time. I know there were bad decisions made from the embargo acts that were passed, and there were still problems on um, dealing with Britain and that kind of stuff and imports. Did y'all have to report his presidency? Anyone? Um, so, as we all know, the these terms were unconstitutional, right? So, the Constitution, it was made to actually sustain the United States and make it. Mm -hmm. Don't you think as president he's supposed to follow the Constitution to keep the United States great instead of just going against what it's saying since the um, terrorist was the Constitution? Why do you say the terrorists are on the Constitution? Because they, was, <laughs> they, 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 um, oh. <laughs> oh, no way. Well, we didn't yeah. fix that up, but the. Uh, so, we go, we go, we go, we go back to the one at a time, one at a time. Vacation convention met and said that the terms were unconstitutional. So, technically, you are going against the notification convention saying that they weren't constitutional. Time, time's up. Thank you. I need to answer that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're, uh, we're going to hear from the uh, prosecution. This is the closing statement. All right, you can start. Okay, so Jackson should be impeached because Shows me being peace because he violates the rights of the people, even though he claims to be for the people. He's a contradiction to his political party, which is a Democrat who would never have issued another vacation proclamation. Furthermore, the incident sets him up to look tyrannical, as he's already kind of viewed, because he has forced snakes upon people um, that even involves the military to make sure the South paid the tax. Jackson was unhinged president. He did many unsavory things, which includes the notification proclamation and the Indian Removal Act, which he went against Congress. So he, that set him up to be even more tyrannical and violating the Constitution because he was basically disregarding the separation of powers. He probably should have never been president in the first place, which is why he should he should be impeached. He only won the second time because, um, I mean, he, he I'm so glad that he lost the first time because the corrupt bargain, because if he had any more, he, that's <laughs> What? Oh. <laughs> you can continue. You can continue. Oh, what were you going to say? Come on. Because he probably could have caused more damage than he was president for any longer. Now my defense team is going to speak. The notification crisis was handled appropriately by the, the, the defendant. And he was, concerning the fact that he was not only the president of a state, but of the whole United States. He was considering the fact that he had to handle things such as national debt. He had to handle such things such as overall, like his, everybody's interpretation of the uh, Constitution. Um, I feel like our, prosec our prosecution's evidence was incorrect. The terrorists and abominations were not constitutional. They were not also passed by Jackson. South Carolina decided to actually include an army, they just have to build that on their own. They're not the only state. They're not even really the major south. Um, they're only the one state in the south. So I feel like they were being selfish and they should have taken into consideration that one state like them not paying taxes can throw us even more national. That's hard. Time's up. What is? 
you are voting on the other group's presentations. So you are voting on two out of the three presentations as members of the House Judiciary Committee. I would say do what you want to do. Maybe we could do how many eyes are there, how many nays are there, and you lead that as speakers of the House. Hi, Maurice. Yes. So you should be uh, thinking about who presented the more compelling argument and evidence. Yes, there are members of the House Judiciary Committee. And those discussion sheets I'm going to be collecting at the end of class. Are we ready? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> So look over the notes that you took during the debates yesterday, who had the better evidence, we started with the bank war, then we talked about Native American removal, and today we talked about the nullification crisis. Are we ready? Thank you, members of the House Judiciary Committee, for providing an excellent trial for one of the more controversial presidents of our history. Today, we shall decide upon which of his controversial actions will be impeached, will give reason for his impeachment. We will lay this to rest today. So the way that this is going to work, uh, we're going to go across the board with each individual charge. I will ask all those in favor of the impeachment of Andrew Jackson on a specific charge, say aye. When I have heard that, I will ask against impeachment. Then, again, say aye. Whichever has the louder voices is the one that we go with. If, at any given point, someone believes, that any, any, of, the, any of the members of this house believe that it was unfair, we'll have each individual keep their voices down, raise their hand, and, and we will come to you. If you believe that we need to do a recount, we will go around the room and ask individually who believes what charge that you're not influenced by others' voices. We will take a tally, and that's how we will go. Uh, we'll go in order of the hands that I saw. Levon, Nikoi, Lance. I really think we should do the um, voice thing. Yeah, I think we have to But if you feel that it was unfair, then we'll go around the room. I think raising our hands would be fine. Okay, we're going to do this. Okay. Well, close your eyes. Well, all right, yeah. No, Close your eyes and raise your hand. Everyone, uh, close your eyes and we're going to ask. Everyone, close your eyes and put your head down. Close your eyes. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 If it is your charge, please do not vote. All right, the first issue, the Bank of the United States, Andrew Jackson's actions were unconstitutional and he should be impeached. Please raise your hand. Okay, keep your hands up. All right. If you believe that he should not be impeached, Please raise your hand. Everyone, please open your eyes and look at the board. Andrew Jackson will not be impeached on his actions concerning the Bank of the United States. 
Moving on to the second issue, the nullification crisis. If this is your charge, please do not close your eyes and do not vote. Everyone close your eyes and put your head down. If you believe that Andrew Jackson's actions concerning the nullification crisis deserve him impeachment, please raise your hand. <laughs> Everyone put your hands down. If you believe that his actions concerning the nullification crisis do not deserve impeachment, please raise your hand. <laughs> Alright. Everyone open your eyes. Uh, on a close decision, seven to six, uh, on the nullification crisis, Andrew Jackson. Will we count be impeached? We count. Eight. 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 Yeah, we'll go to the Senate. Eight. The Senate could still decide that he's innocent. Yeah. I'm just saying it. I can do the Senate. Moving on to the third charge. I'd like to be It's going to the Senate. On the, third charge, the dealings with the natives, that his actions were unconstitutional or constitutional. Everyone, please put your head down and close your eyes unless this was your charge. Unconstitutional. If you believe. That Spies. Andrew Jackson's dealings yeah, with the nations earned him impeachment. Raise your hand. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Everyone, put your hands down. If you believe that Andrew Jackson's dealings with the natives were constitutional, therefore do not earn impeachment, please raise your hand. Wait, everyone put your hands on again. Alright, now, if you believe that Andrew Jackson's dealing with the natives were constitutional and therefore do not deserve impeachment, please raise your hand. Uh, again, close decision, but on the third one, he's dealing with the natives, Andrew Jackson will be impeached, so we'll move on to the Senate for further... Analysis. Uh, Can I say something, Mr. Hill? Sure, what do you have to say, Lake Bobby? I feel like, I feel like this whole thing and the way we doing this is kind of wrong. If we say that he should be impeached because he did something unconstitutional, then we should impeach Jefferson for buying the Louisiana Purchase. He, he, he could, he could, he could, what he did was unconstitutional, but was it really wrong? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The movie yeah. yeah. the the the, 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 the deal with the natives were for the people, the native people. The, oh, what? The nullification oh, was for yeah. overall yeah. America, the people. So was he, was, was he really people. wrong? Was he really yeah. wrong? Yeah. How would you feel? Order! All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, class. Thank you.